Hi, I'm Curly Sue, and if this is the first time you're coming to my channel, welcome to Curly Sue's Kitchen. Today I'm going to be making for you a mushroom and lentil curry. So if you are not new to my channel, you'll know that actually I don't think I've made anything with mushrooms before. I'm sure I haven't, yeah. So using mushrooms is kind of a new thing for me because I'm not really a big fan of mushrooms, but I've been filming overseas recently and one of my friends, new friends now, he's a vegan cook, just like myself, Chef Troy Levy. He likes to use lots of lentils, so I've been kind of looking at his um, recipes and while I was away, he cooked some of the mushrooms for me and I thought, actually, depending on how you cook them, they can taste really great. So I've been coming up with some of my own recipes, so today it's mushroom and lentil curry. So if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, lots of you are watching, lots of you are subscribed, but the more of you that subscribe, the better. And I'll tell you why. Three reasons why you should subscribe. One, it's free. Two, it's free. Three, when you subscribe to my channel and it shows that there's more and more subscribers, then I can get sponsors to give me products and money and so forth to sponsor the videos to make more free stuff for you. So the more of you subscribe, the more that there are subscribers, the more I will have funding to create more and more really great videos just for you. So don't forget to click that no red um, button and turn on the notification bell so you can see more videos just like this one. I hope that was really clear. So actually, I tell you what, pause the video now, click the red subscribe button. Have you done it? Great, well done. So let's get on with the mushroom and lentil curry. So for this, you're going to need 500 grams of chestnut mushrooms, two cloves of garlic, five centimeter piece of ginger, one onion, about medium size, three medium tomatoes, you can use plum tomatoes, some ground nut oil or um, you can use olive oil, any kind of oil really, one teaspoon turmeric, one teaspoon fenugreek, one heaped teaspoon yellow mustard seeds, one teaspoon medium curry powder, one to two teaspoons heat Caribbean seasonal, one teaspoon of mango chutney, one tablespoon rather of mango chutney, one 400 ml tin of light coconut milk and half a cup of lentils. You could use red lentils or speckled lentils, either of those is perfectly fine. Or, you know, any, any kind of lentils that don't take too long to cook because some of them are tougher than others. So, to make this, it's really easy. First of all, you roughly chop some of the mushrooms, keeping the smaller ones hold and tearing the rest as well. Now, some people say, don't wash mushrooms and that's fine within their culture within mine you wash the mushrooms so if you prefer not to wash them that's your choice but for me i'm washing the mushrooms because i don't know how something out the ground you cannot wash it i don't get it if you do comment in the comment section below so wash your mushrooms, chop them, or you can chop them first and then wash them either way around is perfectly fine. And tip them into a large pan and toast them on the stove over a medium heat for about five to eight minutes until they're soft. Once you've done that, you peel while those are kind of toasting. Meanwhile, you just peel and finely slice the garlic, ginger, onion, then roughly chop the tomatoes as well. And you're going to add all of this to the pan and finely slice the garlic, ginger and onion. And then you're going to add all of this to the pan except the tomatoes and then one, add one tablespoon of oil and then all of your spices. Stir this for two minutes or so until the spices are toasted and it's smelling lovely and you know stirring continuously. 
Then you're going to add your tomatoes, your mango chutney and your coconut milk and lentils and stir to combine and season well with sea salt and black pepper and then let that cook down for about 30 minutes until it's all cooked through really nicely. And then all you need to do then is serve it with, if you want to use rice you can but I usually use bulgur wheat these days. If you'd like to know how to make bulgur wheat click the link in the description there's a recipe video I have for how to make bulgur wheat it's super easy it's quicker than rice it's healthier than rice and it tastes basically like rice but it's better for you so you can do that as well so then all you do is serve it with rice and then you can add a side dish of plantain or you can have some nice greens on the side so like some um, pea shoots some kind of salad on the side yeah, anything you like really tastes really good. So if you make any kind of curry, comment in the comment section below and let me know what sort of curry you make. And also, if there's any recipes that you'd like me to make, comment down in the comment section below and let me know what you like. So I have been away quite a bit since the beginning of the year, filming a new TV series overseas not allowed to tell you too much about it as yet but I will give you the details as soon as I've got the green out when we're allowed to say what the t I mean it's a cooking show obviously um, and I'm actually going to be a judge on that cooking show that's about all I can say um, but it will be shown in a lot of different countries around the world so I'm really looking forward to that I'm going to be uploading a behind the scenes video of me filming the show but it won't reveal what the show is it will just show you some behind the scenes clips some of the other people who are in the show as well it's a I think it's 11 episodes we filmed all together and it was filmed um, in the Dominican Republic and then a part of it um, most of it was filmed in the Dominican Republic and the other portion of it was filmed in another Caribbean country as well so it was really exciting and really great to fly over there for I was there for just under three weeks and it was really great to film that and to meet other people who do things that are similar to what I do and the cast was from different countries around the world so that was really amazing as well although most of them were from Caribbean countries so my country of origin is Jamaica so it was really great to meet other people from different Caribbean countries as well so that was a really amazing experience so look out for that video if I've edited that video, no, I won't have edited it by then, but once I've edited that video, I will add a link in the description. So if when you watch this video, you don't see the link in the description, come back again or switch on your notification bell and then you will get an alert when that video comes out. And that's really great. You're gonna see the beauty of the Caribbean and me over there having a great time on set and so forth as well. I had a really good time. I am gonna be filming another series later this year there's quite a lot of television that I'm doing I'm going, going to be going to America to film some shows and I'm going to also be going to South Africa not necessarily to film but for the publicity ahead of a series I'm filming in February 2023 so that is a 10 part show that I'm doing as well so I'm doing quite a lot for TV so I'm trying to get in as many recipe videos for you as I possibly can so while I'm at home back in London, I'm kind of trying to batch film as many videos as I possibly can so that I try to keep up with um, putting out videos every week as I have been trying to do. So bear with me if there's a week or two, one or two weeks when I don't put anything out, but I'm trying to step up my game with having more than one video go out per week. Some of you may have seen the videos that come out on Tuesdays, which are basically my um, podcast where I interview somebody who's a vegan or has an interest in vegan food and about their lifestyle. And usually they have some kind of business that's related to veganism. So let me know what you think of those shows. Comment in the comment section below. Let me know if you have been enjoying them. Is that would you like to see more of that content? 
because it's basically I record that for the radio show I have on Adventist Radio London that then turns into a podcast but when I record it I also record it um, for audio and video so then the video comes onto my YouTube channel so it's been really great so let me know what you think of that so talk to me people my um i've made friends with other youtubers as well because the show that i did i met a couple of other youtubers and it's really great to meet other people who are youtubers as well it's so cool and so fun so if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up don't forget to click and subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you'll see more videos just like this eat good eat clean eat blessed Thank you so, so much for watching. Mwah, mwah, mwah. See you next time. Bye.